Today we're talking about the Amprobe AT4000 wire tracer. This kit consists of a transmitter and a receiver, as well as an accessory for the plug to input the uh, electricity into the actual unit, and also a plug that is a grounding, acts as a grounding unit. Uh, in order to use the AT4000, you'll plug in this wire accessory into the outlet. You'll notice it has an, a hot wire and a neutral. Be careful to plug in the hot wire into the input on the transmitter. And instead of using this other wire to input into the unit, we will instead use the grounding plug. And this is important because if you were to plug both of these into the transmitter, the signal would end up canceling each other out and you would get no reception. And I'll demonstrate how that happens later. You next power on the transmitter and we'll set the signal level to begin with at medium. You can see that on the lower part of the display. Now this unit is ready to go. Next, you need to prepare the receiver. We power on the receiver. We verify that it's operating in short mode. And in this case, that means there's no light here. If this light is on, it's for open. When it's off, it's for short. Then we'll adjust the sensitivity also to medium. And if you're not getting a signal, you may have to adjust it up, or if there's a lot of interference in the area, you may have to adjust it down. But it's best to start at medium, which is the flashing light. We'll want to set the sensitivity using this scroll bar at the side to about seven to 10 bars. So occasionally getting up to the top, that looks good. And then we will go around the outlet trying to find where is this actual wire. And we're going to be looking for getting some sort of a sustained signal out of the unit. So the receiver occasionally has a hit, but nothing too strong until we get all the way down to the floor. And you can see that it's along the floor that it appears that we have the wire. So we'll go along the floor, and if you were ever to lose it, you will have to go in a circular fashion to try and find it. But you see that it's going along the floor. Every few feet, we'll want to stray off of that, just verify that we actually haven't lost the signal, and that it is a true signal we have. And you'll continue as long as you need to trace the wire. Now, I said that we would show what happens if you don't actually have this grounding plug plugged in. And the other end of this grounding plug is going to be, in this case, we've attached it to a metal door frame. It could also go out a window uh, to the ground, to a uh, perhaps a screwdriver plugged into the ground. Uh, but it's important to actually have a valid uh, grounding source such as a, a standpipe, a metal standpipe, or some other metal object. You'll notice that if I plug in the other plug into the input, there's nothing. As soon as I plug the ground back into the unit, the signal returns. So again, having the transmitter grounded with only one source providing a signal uh, is very important. Uh, again, if we were tracing up to uh, the endpoint being uh, in a fuse box or uh, some breaker panel, this would be a legitimate setup for the unit. Since we're tracing a wire, we want to make sure that we have the unit grounded. And that's the first step in completing wire tracing.